For this first look, I chose this Zara dress. I just love the florals and paisley print. Florals are here to stay this summer, and if this dress were longer, it would be perfect. Add a belt to define your waist. I paired it with my white sneakers by No Name and just a few pieces of jewelry, which will be worn throughout, and they're from h and by the way, you can adapt this look for the office by just adding some flats and wear a jacket. In this look, I update the slip dress by XOXO for autumn by pairing it with a button down by Ten & Co. I love the smart and chic edge it gives to the look. Perfect for work, university or even school. Chunky heels are all the rage to update your wardrobe for the upcoming season. Mine are from Crazy Step and this bag by Pomelo is so cute, could easily be mistaken for a Machino or a Anya Hidden March. This next look is all about the layering and to get the formula right, take one pleated skirt. The one I'm wearing is from a brand named Tree. Pair it with a turtleneck, mine is from The Pina House, and then add a sweater, mine is by XOXO. Paisley printed purse is vintage and since this look is reminiscent of the 70s, I decided to add a vintage charm bracelet which belonged to my mom of course. And again add chunky platforms and socks, mine are by Pamelo. Okay guys, for this last look, get rid of the top but keep tracksuit bottoms because they are here to stay for autumn. Mine are by Pamelo. Pair with a crisp white shirt, mine's by XOXO. And throw in brogues for that androgynous preppy look. My brogues are by Aldo. And if I or you missed any item of clothing, it will be listed in the description box below. Now, for those of you who want to have some fun with this look, you can always go simple for the office or add a beanie or a cap. Why not? My beautiful friends, I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you who are watching right now. Yes, you. Whether you're already a subscriber or not, I just want to say thank you so much for your love and support on my channel. I've made it to one year on YouTube. Ah! 70 plus videos and counting. I've made a ton of friends and contacts that I never imagined knowing and having all over the world. It's super cool to know you guys. I found out what my passion is, my true passion in life. And from that, I've car carved out a career path which I never knew that existed for me. Being on YouTube has boosted my confidence and self-esteem and because of these and so many more gifts 
I am so eternally grateful for the opportunities that have come into my life and I have you to thank for that. So thank you, thank you so much with all my heart. So with that, I'm going to end this video here. And if you liked this video, enjoyed it, or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe if you're new here. It will really, really make my day. I'm going to wish you all a beautiful day or night, wherever you are in the world. And I will be sure to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.